You're in the right place if you are trying to navigate how to keep your business alive in this changing landscape of consumer shopping behavior and of course all of the emerging technologies. I'm talking about live commerce, live stream shopping. That's where I come in. I am a TV home shopping host and the founder of Live Selling School. And I help brands and of course, presenters navigate how to connect through the screen, building community and boosting sales. If you want more of this content, please hit subscribe so I can keep creating it and bringing on fantastic guests. And today's guest, we are so excited to have Kathy Sands, who is a marketing specialist for everybody's favorite TV infomercial home shopping Dr. Ho. Kathy, <laughs> it is so exciting to have you here because you really have helped navigate the space from traditional infomercial to home shopping and now bringing Dr. Ho into the live commerce space. Well, thank you, Don. Uh, it's, it's so great to be here. And yeah, I mean, like, I'm really lucky because Dr. Ho, I feel like in internationally is really known as like the original, the OG infomercial guy where he started in this space and I, I feel he's become like a household name and really synonymous with infomercials and live shopping. People aren't consuming media the same way they have been traditionally. And, you know, doing the, the short form, long form commercials isn't something that's always going to continue working for people as we find less and less people are watching traditional media. So it only kind of made sense that we would do the jump, take the evolution and move into the digital space where we're doing a lot more online content creation, live streaming, and, and really trying to reach more people that way. Because I think that's how people are consuming media now. I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus here, but I am constantly surprised at how little people in the marketing and PR world right now, at least in my circle, are aware of the benefits or even the fact that live commerce really exists. So where do you think that gap is? Because I know why you get it because you've been immersed into that TV home shopping world, but what do you think the delay is? is it just that we're sort of relying on the old, you know, the old strategies and sort of thinking that's good enough. I think change is hard. And I think in a lot of bigger companies, especially change is really hard internally because there is that layered process where it's like, it's got to go for approval, 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 approval. So, you know, someone will come up with an idea and then, you know, it'll take a year or two to implement. And by then it's evolved again and it's changed again. And big companies are having a hard time keeping up with that. So I think something that they need to consider is that with the way technology is rapidly evolving and with how people are consuming media and all sorts of different, you know, it, it used to be just kind of like websites and now it's social media and now everything has to be 30 seconds or less for us to really kind of consume it in bite-sized pieces. Brands need to be ready to take the plunge to evolve and to to make faster changes internally. It would be very simple for the Dr. Ho brand, of which, again, you are the marketing sort of specialist for. You're sort of at the helm of a lot of those strategies, almost all of them. It would be very easy to just go, you know what, we're we're doing fine as we are. Is our audience consuming with the new technologies? And here, Dr. Ho brand, you specifically actually hosting weekly live stream shopping events and not just going live on traditional social media, but actually have made it part of your investment in marketing strategy by incorporating a live stream shopping platform. With this new kind of shift to live streaming, it's allowing us a lot quicker feedback and a lot more interaction with our customers and really giving us the opportunity to answer those questions and really anything that they're maybe kind of pausing to to make a purchase and they they just have like one last question that's maybe not on the website and not something they feel they can get an answer to immediately instead of calling and speaking to a call center agent or whoever happens to be taking those orders you know we're doing these ask me anything and we're doing these live streams and we have the chat and and we're really able to in have a person a live person 
answer these questions for kind of any barriers that may be stopping them from, from taking the next step. And so this is where there is a huge benefit. And in particular, I'm going to say with e-commerce only brands. So if you don't have a physical storefront. Now, Dr. Ho is definitely in a bit of a league of his own because his face is right out there, you yeah. know, with his brand. But a lot of e-commerce only brands don't necessarily have a face to the brand. And so it can be very difficult for consumers to trust what they're getting. Is it called Dr. Ho now? What's it called? What do you call it on, on the it's, stage it's, 10 platform? Yeah, it's our uh, Dr. Ho's like live stream. So we've just, we, we've done a couple episodes here and there, and then we've just started doing regularly scheduled content. So every Tuesday we have, it's just Dr. Ho's live stream and you can watch right on the website, uh, www.drhonow.com. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's really been kind of that next level of it's the natural shift for someone like Dr. Ho, who has his his you know traditional media that he's purchased in the the past, to be able to do that shift and to be able to have that you know weekly connection where I'm able to interact, I'm able to answer questions, I'm able to you know kind of showcase new products. It's a really good opportunity to learn not just um, you know, product sales, but also learn like, what, what are people looking for? Like, what are people really needing from a brand? And, you know, one of the things that I think is the most effective thing, and I think a, a secret to Dr. Ho's success is that people want to know and, and people want to buy things from you because you care. So with with all of my uh you know brands that I've worked with, I feel like the most effective strategy is the belief that you are helping someone. And I think Dr. Ho truly has helped millions of people. I think that genuine energy comes across every time he's in front of a camera. People know he's excited to help people. But I think regardless of if it is a beauty product and you just want to make someone feel good about themselves and it's a clothing brand and you want people to feel fabulous when they wear it or you know in in my category a home brand where i genuinely want to help people save time and live better lives that i think is probably the most effective strategy people can have for you know live streaming and and, and you know really a lot to do with the the success brands like dr ho has had that genuine empathy of wanting to help people. And the best products are created out of solving a problem, out of helping people. Having a live stream show on the regular like you front for Dr. Ho offers you on your own channels the opportunity to control the content, yep. to gather data, to really source out the questions people have, which might also drive your other content, and even something as simple as the copywriting on your website, if something is clearly not as evident or answering the question in the way people need to hear it to understand it, you're able to really, I think, gather a ton of data, Kathy. And I think that's, you know, one yes. of the, the big benefits. Now, you've chosen to go with, um, I believe it's stage 10 as Correct. your live stream shopping platform. And let's face it, there are many platforms that are out there and each sort of has its own little secret sauce. Have you seen the KPIs? Like when you figure out what your key performance indicators for going live, are you checking the boxes? Are you still working toward it? How are you constantly evolving your strategies? I think what you said about, you know, how a live stream and how the the chats and and how all that interaction goes live affects copy is absolutely true. Because if we see the same questions coming up, and this is, you know, on our social platforms in the chat, then clearly we're not doing a great job of explaining the product, explaining the differences, explaining, you know, what it does. And that's something that we're able to easily and quickly remedy on the site and, you know, in, in any of those email marketing pieces or any of those, you know, kind of external communications that go out. So that feedback is something that is so important that we are able, again, just like you said, access immediately. We're getting that feedback on a regular basis. And hopefully the more we do the Ask Me Anythings, the more we do the live streams, that, that really is in 
unbelievable source of information for us as a brand for what is and is not resonating with our customers. And so when you produce your shows and, and for anyone listening or watching, when I say produce, I mean, you know, you have to have a general framework. I mean, yeah. Kathy is a professional. I'm a professional. Many of us, we, we don't go to air and this is not old fashioned, by the way, by not winging it. It just means that we are being intentional about the content, being organized yeah. about the content and making sure that there is value rather than just like pressing live and going, Hey, you <laughs> we're <know>. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show up and hopefully it's good. I mean, you you really have to sort of decide what you're going to present, how how you're going to present it. So on any given day, what's your process, Kathy, for creating what becomes what people see on the Dr. Ho website? Well, we have a whole shared uh, Excel, whatever the the Google form of it is, uh, document that you know the internal and an external team uh, work on together. So it has the schedule. We work try try to work two to three months out in advance of what the weekly show will be, what products we want to highlight. Um, you know, what is the email content that's going to go out to the team? Who are we going to have as a guest? You know, do we need to See if this timing is working. You know, we're we're doing kind of lunch hours right now, but you know, we're always measuring and we're always seeing like, is this a time that people want to interact with us? Maybe we should do a nighttime show. So we're always kind of testing those metrics out and then working together, you know, two to three months in advance of what's the theme of the show going to be. So this past Tuesday, we did a uh, kind of like prepping your body for gardening, because as the weather is getting nicer and people are going outside, you know, I, I personally really injured myself last summer over weeding because I just, I went out and was just like, oh, I'll weed, it's fine. And then ended up injuring my elbow. So, you know, we try to find content that is relevant to people. We try to find content that is engaging and interesting. So it's not just, hey, I have this product. It is a value add. We are talking about, hey, you know, here are some stretches uh, that you can do to loosen up your body. Here's a quick warm up. Let's get into some tools that can maybe make this easier for you, you know mention, you know, one of our products that is really effective at helping deal with that kind of pain. And then, you know, we did like a little cool down for our little gardening episode of like, when you're done, just make sure you stretch those muscles out because, you know, any activity that people have is, is like a workout. So I think for us, it's what's relevant content that people are going to want to engage with that is interesting to people. And then, you know, kind of, that was just me talking about like, I like to garden and here's how I hurt myself. But there's a lot of other product like specialists, like you have people come on your show because they are experts in their field. So, you know, we have Dr. Anthony Chan coming next week to talk about tech neck. We've got a Mother's Day episode because, you know, when you look at the calendar ahead of time, what days are relevant for different holidays and promotions? Rosalie Brown's going to come on the show and do a fitness segment. So it's always kind of looking ahead and being like, what what do people want help with? What are people interested in? What can we do to provide that information for people? So when I would do my traditional media media training, which I still do through my Don Chube Media Services, and I'd work with chefs and I work with you know fitness professionals and bartenders, like I'd work with a lot of people, but I'll use chefs for an example. And I would always, when I did my media training with them, and often that was really about camera confidence, but executing your key messages. And how are you going to choreograph a segment like making eggs Benedict in exactly. three minutes. Okay. The initial intuition that a, that a brand would have is the first thing they need to do is throw a, a banner in the back with the website or the company name. And that the first thing they need to say is come and see us at the restaurant and websites and all the things that is, to be honest, for a consumer or somebody watching is blah, 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 turn the channel. Yeah. Because you can't sell to somebody without letting them know the value you bring to their life, either with your information or with the product. So you need to, this would be almost like a, like a hook without being in the hard and fast world of sales, you're giving them a hook. So how to hurt, you know, things you can do to avoid injury when gardening or yeah. how to make the perfect hollandaise in the microwave. It really does circle back to 
anyone who's selling something, like you said, ultimately comes down to you're doing this to provide a product or service that is really to make someone's life better, to make their life easier. You know, the, the product is there. The desire for people to have that product is there. And it's just a matter of marrying the two, of introducing, hey, I have this product, you need this service. And the person being like, hey, I need your service, but I need to know a little bit more about your product before I can buy it. But it's not that different, Kathy. And this is where I get surprised again that that certain certain people, certain businesses, they, they haven't quite grasped that this is not just about sales. It's part of your content creation. It's part of yeah. more than just that key performance indicator of actual sales, isn't it? Yeah, and I think it's funny because... You know, I've been in this industry my entire career. I've been direct to consumer where it's either through print media and then I was working behind the scenes with a lot of different companies in, uh, you know, the direct to consumer space. And then, you know, I, I moved into like the home shopping and I moved to Dr. Ho's and, and it was a little more front of line. But direct to consumer has always been this kind of funny thing that traditional marketers we're just kind of like, oh yeah, there's the direct to consumer group. But as we've shifted from traditional media to more interactive media, like live stream selling, like live selling, they're finally coming around and understanding like, this is great, not only for being able to, you know, make sales and it's like a new category of sales, but also for all the information that we are gathering from the customers about our products, about you know, why we should have been doing this years ago. Yeah. I mean, it's the same reasons you send out surveys and you ask exactly. people to provide feedback and it just, is, it's one other tool that I think is starting to gain traction. We're not to where China is. We'll probably never be, but we're gaining traction by the millions and billions every single, you know, year. So it's, it's a, it's a really something that I think is worth paying attention to. And you've got such a unique, sort of perspective as well, Kathy, because not only have you been ingrained in the whole strategy with Dr. Ho and of course your team and the team that you are a part of certainly, but you also have the on-air experience. So many people may have not only seen you on the live stream for Dr. Ho, but presenting home products, in particular floor care on home shopping. Like where did that come from? How did it become Home, you know, like floor care, like vacuums, for instance, that you dealt I, with. I, I feel like I've become like, if there is a floor care product in Canada that you want on home shopping, like I'm that very niche person now. <laughs> and it, it really just kind of came from, I worked on the back end. I worked at a company that did media buying, that did fulfillment for direct to consumer customers and was dealing with uh, home shopping uh, channels, US and Canada, just on the back end of things for, for many, many years. And then I came across a job posting for on-air talent. And I went in and I knew the hosts and I knew all that stuff and I, you know, had had enough exposure that I knew what they were looking for, got the position, um, was trained by a, a really great man named uh, Graham Anderson, who, funnily enough, when he was kind of thrown into on-air training, learned everything from watching old Dr. Ho infomercials. So it was this beautiful, like, full circle um moment when I started working for Dr. Ho because I ended up seeing them all the time at home shopping. So that's, that's how I got that position. But yeah, I mean, like, I think when something really resonates with you and when you're passionate about it, and when you have the ability to share that with other people, there is an authenticity that regardless of what you are selling comes across where you're just like, I want to show you this great thing that I'm a mom of two kids. I have a dog who you can probably hear barking in the background. Um, you know, I I will do literally anything to make my life easier. So here's this thing I found that will probably make your life easier too. And it's those stories, Kathy, that when you talk about authenticity, and this is part of what I do train with my HSH method is sharing those personal stories. So whether it's the, I hurt myself gardening, 
or perhaps, you know, the football player who hurts his back by picking up a grain of rice, right? Or or it's again, you know, I've got two kids. I don't, you do, um, yeah. <laughs> who are spilling their Cheerios on the floor. And how are we going to, you know, vacuum that up? It's those exactly. stories that create those relatable moments, which again is what is the difference between going solely e-commerce. It's, yeah, you can read testimonials on a website. It's not the same as seeing Kathy present the product and telling those stories. And it's a sense of community as well, Kathy, where, you know, there's a lot of connection, surprisingly, that happens through the technology that that is very special. And I know it's part of, it's a huge part of the success Dr. Ho has had. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, it's it's really nice because I, on the back end, have had the opportunity to go film those testimonials at people's houses and hear their stories firsthand. And it's really moving to be able to, in person, hear, you know, how a product has changed someone's life and how it has made their life better. And it, it, there's something special about being able to kind of be there for that filming and then to get the opportunity to then share that story with other people. It's just kind of like you're really spreading the love around and you're really kind of sharing with a lot of people like, hey, look, I get that maybe this isn't what happened to you, but I want you to know about this person and I want you to know about how this product has changed their life. and. They're not a paid actor. They're not, you know, someone who's clearly a professional model or anything like that. It's real people telling real stories. And when you are able to share those stories on a live feed with real-time interaction, it's like it's it's like the floodgates open. Uh, people share their stories and it's that yeah. sense of community that makes everybody feel like, hey, I'm not alone. And then here's Kathy on the weekly Dr. Ho show yeah. that is is sort of listening and sharing and saying, you know, hey, maybe this could help you. And it's not a hard sell. And it's I think that's the genius of live stream is that you have a chance to sort of build this a community. Yeah. And relation and a relationship. Absolutely. And we are already seeing like regular people that are tuning in. And, you know, it's great when you see their name pop up in your chat. You're like, hey, welcome back. It's great to see you. Like, it's really nice to have that sense of community. And obviously, these are not the people that are going to be buying something every week. But these are the people that are going to share what a great experience that they've had tuning into the live stream. And they'll share with their friends like, hey, you should watch this. This is like a great, you know, kind of live stream where we do lots of things and we feel good and we're interacting and you feel like part of that family and part of that community. And, you know, to, to be able to kind of grow that, I think is the base that a lot of brands um, really desire to have. And it's why I do what I do. It's why I created my live selling course with the HSH method. It's why I'm getting ready to launch Leap into Livestream for small business to help businesses, perhaps like any of you listening or watching, are hoping to do for the very reasons that Dr. Ho has decided to and the reasons that Kathy spends you know, a weekly lunch hour with everybody out there. Um, you're such a wealth of information, Kathy. Thanks for being so transparent and honest and for sharing your experience. I know there are people listening and watching that are thinking, I got to watch that weekly show with Kathy. I got some pay. I, I hurt myself gardening. What, who, how, do they, how do people watch? Okay, so everyone can just go to www.drhownow.com. There is a watch us live button so you can watch past shows there. Uh, you can see our upcoming schedule for the next three or four shows we have planned. Every Tuesday at noon Eastern, we go live. So hopefully we'll have some content that is interesting and relevant to everyone out there. If they they are like a weekend warrior and got some makes and pains or maybe just someone who sits at a desk too long every day. So a little something for everyone. Amazing. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thanks, Don. It was a pleasure to be here.